This video describes a bicycle ride on unusual bike lanes installed in the middle of the street on Pennsylvania Avenue in Washington, D.C., USA. The ride started near the U.S. Capitol and proceeded along Pennsylvania Avenue to 15th Street near the White House. The political implications of construction of special bike lanes connecting these two points are obvious enough. This little expedition looked to find out how they are to ride. I'm John Allen. I have a video camera on the rear rack of my bicycle which is shooting the picture-in-picture -picture that just appeared at the lower right on your screen. I'm riding with three companions from left to right, John Schubert with a cell phone, Riley Geary on the recumbent, and Carrie Caffrey who has another video camera on top of her helmet which is shooting the main video you see here. Let's go. Okay. This is interesting. We have a bus. A main reason for bike lanes in the middle of the street was to get them out of the way of the many tourist buses. We start out across 3rd Street Northwest. Oh, it's over here. That is, both sides of the bikeway are on the same side of the pedestrian waiting area. Motorists getting out of the parked cars step either into the bikeway or into a travel lane and then cross to the edge of the street without a crosswalk. The sign at the left says turning bikes use crosswalks, which would be strange enough, but it's even stranger because there aren't any at this intersection. Yes, there's some waiting. This video is uninterrupted and continuous because I don't want anyone to think that it might have been manipulated. They were still painting these when I was here last year. Hmm? They were still painting the chevrons when I was here last year. The bus passes us without conflict, here with a buffer, flex post, and a bike lane of adequate width. This intersection does have crosswalks. We'll take a closer look at a later, similar intersection where we stop for a red light. Motor vehicles like the red and blue bus get to make left turns from the left turn lane. But here, bicyclists are expected to cross the intersection and then wait for another signal phase to cross in the crosswalk. A left turn from this bike lane in the middle of the street could leave a bicyclist stranded to the left of other traffic. Yes, yeah, several of these. There's a bunch of them up there that are like that. What are you saying? But you can't see the signal. Whoa! I got, I got somebody doing that last time I rode this with video too, at this intersection. I'll tell you, this would quickly discourage people from running red lights. The bike lanes are much narrower in this block, although still separated by a buffer. Huh. Oh, if I want to turn left, I go... None of the traffic signals at this intersection is facing the bikeway. It's facing the other way. Unbelievable. It appears that they are a new, incomplete installation. The black stripe on which I'm riding is the former center line. The bikeway was narrowed shortly after it was installed due to protests from motorists and particularly taxi drivers. If you look closely, you can also see traces of other markings that have been removed. I was supposed to stop here at the stop line, but out of habit, I pulled up to the intersection. Oops, I, I went too far. I blew it. What was I thinking? Well, and then there's this guy. Instead of waiting your turn in line. Why did you do that? 
Some people have just got to get ahead in life. Well, he is waiting for the red light. Actually, I shouldn't have pulled up here, but I didn't realize it's supposed to stop back there and let all the pedestrians cross. It's a Mickey Mouse facility in any case. It is. Pedestrians are hidden behind signs and behind one another. The cyclist in green keeps well clear of them. I was unfamiliar with this bike lane and didn't anticipate the hazard. Neither did my companions riding behind me. If there were heavy two-way bicycle traffic, it would be possible to avoid the pedestrians only by stopping in the middle of the intersection. At the next intersection, a cyclist in yellow will pass us and then turn left. It's good that no motorist was making a left turn from the cross street at the same moment. Somehow I missed that I was supposed to stop at the line yeah, in that last intersection. Just wait, uh, wait the line, the uh, light signal here, the line to block the, the signal in your view. That is true. Well, there's a reason for that, which is that originally the path was over there where you could see the signal. Then they moved the path. Another feature of this is that where you stop. I think the reason I was incentivized to do that before is that where you stop here, you can't see the traffic coming in the side streets nearly as well because it's way back from the intersection. So, I was sort of following my instinct to get where I can see the cross traffic in case something is coming when I start up, which is, you know, you're not usually 25 feet back from the intersection. At the left side of the picture, you can see the cyclist in yellow continuing on the sidewalk. That's hardly surprising because the sidewalk is a continuation of the crosswalks which cyclists are being told to use here. The signs requiring crosswalk use are not supported by law, and riding on sidewalks is illegal in downtown Washington, D.C. The pedestrian yielded right of way to us, and so was crossing legally. Motorists are prohibited from turning left at this next intersection, but I get distracted and forget about that. That next lane of traffic is very close. Washington, D.C. has a three-foot passing distance law which the design of the bike lanes inherently defies. The next few blocks are relatively smooth sailing, though, as we get a string of green lights. The short black posts, one with a barrel over it, are to prevent motorists from knocking over the signal pole. At the far side of the intersection, there's a new pole with a different kind of base. The black posts are unreflectorized and uncomfortably close to the edge of the bike lane. The flexible white posts, which we see here, are promoted as preventing motorists from encroaching into the bikeway. As we approach the next intersection, notice that all bicyclists making turns, including right turns, are expected to do it from the left lane. This is the case at most intersections. In a few seconds, you'll see John Schubert come up on my left side. He'll be waiting where bicyclists are expected to wait to make a right turn. There he is. This is where you stopped last time. I remember. I'm talking about Carrie's ride a year earlier before the bikeway was narrowed, and she shot video then too.
man the red light. The striped buffer separating the bikeway from the travel lane to its right narrows and disappears. Narrowing of the bikeway has taken an especially high toll here, although a parking lane remains. Now, I'm not going to get into trouble here because I wasn't running the red light. There's no stop line. No, there's no stop line. Or if I'd been looking down, I might not have noticed that there was an intersection at all. looks like they ground it off, but I think that was from the um, original lane. At the next intersection, the bicycle turn lane is to the left of the bicycle through lane, as usual, and there are no flex posts on the right. Space is tight here as the lanes shift over to make room for parking in the next block. Here again, at the second intersection in a row, there is no stop line. I look to the right to make sure that no motorist is making a left turn. I understand, though, that the main car bike collision problem on this bikeway is with motorist U-turns in mid-block. Taxi drivers are the most common offenders. Okay, now what are we supposed to do? We're now approaching 15th Street. The markings are different at the end of the block. There is no special bicycle turn lane. Not a special bicycle thing, but then where are we supposed to go? Uh, onto the 15th Street, take a right onto the 15th Street bikeway. Where is that? Oh, that thing? Yeah. So we keep shooting and yeah. go on to it? Like or we can stop and, and restart. The black car on our right has its left turn blinker on. The left turn lane has the red while we have the green bicycle signal. 15th Street is another story. For now, let's just notice that a right turn arrow is green. The special bicycle signal has turned yellow in both directions. And a left turn arrow will turn green once bicyclists have had time to cross the street. It has been reported, though, that motorists sometimes confuse the special bicycle signal with the left turn arrow, leading to conflicts. Avoiding this problem is an issue which is being addressed as a national standard for special bicycle signals is being developed.